What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Pokemon video for you guys. We are opening the Hyper Set. <laughs> I'm pretty sure ever that is more Hidden Fates, more Reprint Tens. These are from Game Nerds. We picked these up at $45 for all three. That's $15 a 10. Very good deal. Uh, if you missed out on it, just monitor the subreddit, the Pokemon TCG Deals subreddit. Monitor the Deals channel in our Discord server. But to start, we have yet another cool mail day. Now we have some promos that when I saw it on eBay, like, it's like, what are these? I was like, all right, let me, I'm not even gonna look it up. I looked it up just now, but I just picked them up. And apparently around 1999, I believe, if you went on a flight in Japan on Nippon Airlines, um, I think it had to be a specific flight to like a specific Pokemon plane you could redeem your ticket your boarding pass for some of these promos and uh, So we picked up those two promos and a couple extra But uh, one thing if you ever buy stuff from Japan a lot of times they send these like random knickknacks in addition to like hey you have a special gift and I kind of got this note um, and they even provided their Pokemon Go trainer ID. I kind of like crossed it out uh, just to, I don't know, because not to share it with the world, but I thought that was hilarious. I did friend them on Pokemon Go and hey, we can get some whatever the, the gifts things from around the world every couple days maybe. And then they included these, um, I have no idea what these, what these are. I'm going to guess that these are kind of like pop series. Uh, feels like there's only gonna be one card inside so at the end we'll open these and just to see what's inside but let's take a look at those crazy promos and I think we kind of have a couple cards so they're all Japanese stuff you know when it comes to like the Pokemon TCG hobby it's like an onion and just like so many layers and then when you go to the Japanese side of the promos there's just so much crazy stuff out there and this is actually a top Sun uh, the blue version and it's nothing too crazy but we're gonna pick up the turtles whenever we can. We got a war turtle. It's only PSA 2, and I think we have another one. These we picked off PWCC. But hey, we'll add that to our collection. What's next? Uh, all right, a 1998 promo from Koro Koro Comics. Look at this art. Uh, hopefully, I can get it without too much glare. Maybe if I put in the shadow of the camera. He's like, I'm not sure if he's wha playing whack a mole with Diglets. Like, it's actually kind of messed up, but it is hilarious art. And uh, yeah, from 1998, so this was before like the English base set. All right, and now we have those very cool promos. Let's go with this one first. All right, the All the Bone Airways Japanese promo from 1999. Again, I had to look it up on Bulbapedia. You had to go on a flight. <laughs> you had to ride an airplane to pick up this card. So that is crazy, and I really like that art. Pretty cool. And then we have the Moltres as well. So I think the Articuno, I think it's very similar, but slightly different. And I still want that one. I think that one actually looks the best. But there we go. We got another very cool, very unique promo. And uh, that's today's mail day. So without further ado, let's look for our third shiny Charizard for this channel. And here we go. Let's fast forward through this part. All right, and we are good to go. I think I did damage this a little bit. Uh, kind of unhappy about that, even actually, even on the bottom. But I mean, this is a problem. We have like, I don't know, 30 of these at this point. <clears throat> so 12 cracks at that shiny Charizard. Let's go into pack number one. So far, our pulls for this latest wave of tins. We've gotten a good number of pulls, and that's what my favorite thing about Hidden Fates is. But on the shiny GX side hasn't been great. So hoping to get at least one in this opening. And I think even that the kind of had to lower the bar. <laughs> Reset our expectations. But in pack number one, we have okay. A full art Giovanni's Exile. Always happy to Ooh, very solid pack to start things off. No shiny cards, but we will take it. Let's just take a look at the centering real quick. Eh, not too great. This is definitely a little bit thicker. But very solid first pack opening. Just gotta grab a sleeve. Hope everyone's having a good day. And if you do enjoy the contents and you want to support the channel, the easiest way is to simply like and subscribe. 
so you do have to be subscribed to win giveaways we're going to do one in the near future for our thousand sub celebration but if you also want to uh, find additional ways to support the channel that we do have a patreon that we started recently and you can actually buy products from me at cost or what i call what i paid for and i'll show over for you on the channel and send you all the hits and uh yeah the okay another another reverse energy and the cost of the patreon membership will go towards the shipping as well all right so far we'll we'll take energies but you know i suppose these energies are better than a common uncommon reverse card but let's get those shinies okay pack number three i believe this was the charizard tin on top but this is crazy we're, i feel like it's we're about to hit the next summer set kind of like the ooh, a lot of wheezings the English equivalent of Tag All-Stars. This is last pack for the Charizard 10. And uh, yeah, Hidden Fade is still popular as ever. I feel like this is just basically going to do like a lap around that set where, hey, you get you get, uh, you get get to be popular for, I don't know, a week? <laughs> and then it's like, all right, can we open Hidden Fades again? All right, on to, I don't know, the right two 10. I'm not sure what 10. One of the other 10s. But the first 10 was not great. Actually, that was a letdown. Can we do better? We got an Arbuck. And then our first shiny, super textured. And it's a Malamar, one of the more useful shinies. And however, quite off-centered. Grab a sleeve for you. Put you up here. <clears throat> All right, pack number two. Come on, let's get a shiny GX gold card, full art supporter. I'm not sure. Like if it's it's hard to it's hard to tell, but it does feel like recently. You know, I'm not going to speak to like print ways, but just as far as our own luck goes, we've been doing pretty good on getting non GX shinies. But then in the other departments that are more important, you know, full art supporter gold cards. And most importantly, the shiny GXs. We've been uh, doing quite poor, actually. You know, I feel like we tout up great hit ratios, but that's it. Let's get a shiny GX, please. Brock, Graveler, Cleep Fairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Eevee. What the? <laughs> oh, man, this brings back like all those rebel clash packs we opened we can we are unable to find giovanni boss's orders but we find giovanni's exile like every other day and we got another shiny this is a super loaded pack let's just take a look at centering not bad but i think top top bottom like this corner just looks kind of weird so not a good psa candidate and as far as the giovanni goes we got a lot of them all right my sleeves are a little messed up Froki, Froki is really cute though. So I, I'll take that. Giovanni. I think we're good on Giovanni's. <laughs> all right, let me make sure we can get all these hits in frame. I like. I guess that's that's a good problem to have. But yeah, where's those shiny GXs? Uh, a couple of people have like mentioned like, oh guys, have, turtle, have you checked out like the evolutions? And they're crazy prices. And I took a look like, oh my gosh, you guys are right. Let's get some of those. <clears throat> Alright, Charmeleon, Chansey, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Coughing, we another Weezing, that's our third Weezing, and then a Ekans. And all right, we got one pack left for the second tin. Second tin so far has been pretty good. Two non-GX shinies. We can do better though. I do feel like we backtracked a little bit as far as like our goals like you know obviously the biggest hit we can find is that Charizard but I was like oh let's just get a shiny GX <laughs> resetting those expectations for real Pikachu Electrode is the rare and then a Beldum I feel like Beld actually I think Matang is one I pull a lot oh, this one does look pretty well centered maybe down here is a little bit off 
grab a regular sleeve for you. Actually, as far as PSA, I, was, I still want to send like most of my collection off to PSA because they do have that cool bulk rate. There, I think there's a shortage of the card saver ones, actually. I couldn't find any. I usually buy them on Amazon. You can buy them straight from PSA, but they are pretty expensive. So kind of a weird situation where I actually think you can request to get them back. And maybe I should have done that. Jesse and James, and then just a Blaine's last stand. All right, so pack number two did have, actually we've got another Giovanni's Exile. Oh no wait, we're on pack number, 10 number three at this point. All right, Shiny GX, please, please. This pack opened kind of weird. If you guys do play the online game, make sure you do catch some of our Twitch streams. We do pack giveaways throughout. So yeah, if you play those, definitely attend. Charmeleon. I wonder if we give out give away like the most packs on Twitch. It's gotta be close. Alright, two packs left. So far this tin kinda of underwhelming. We did get that Beldum. Ekans, Caterpie, Paris. Charmander, Cliff Fairy, Electrode, then a Nurse Joy. Oh man. Yeah, the, our recent openings just, you know, locking on those shiny GXs. Last pack. Can we clutch up and get something good? Here we go. Koga, LT Surge, a Magmar, Cliff Fairy, Psyduck. Ekans, Caterpie, Jolteon is our last rare, oops, spilling, stuff spilling over, but either, anyway guys, thanks so much for, oh wait, we still have to open that weird gym pack too, okay, just a Mew for the reverse, and uh, yeah, let's just see what's inside these, could be anything, I doubt it's anything good or anything too crazy, as uh, the eBay seller's like, hey, you can have these for free, enjoy, so thank you so much. And is that Carvana? Ooh, I do like this thing though. I'm not sure what the big hits we can get are, but yeah, these feel like the pop series, and you kind of got this kind of like a leak promo, I suppose. And our last one from my new Pokemon Go friend. <laughs> I will send you some gifts from the Boston area, and we got was it Swaddle? And, uh, yeah, all right, not, nothing too crazy. But I would say the highlight for me were these two, these three promos. That Farfetch is hilarious. Just playing whack-a-mole with the Diglets. That's going to be it for us today, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support on the channel. Consider subscribing or uh, like and subscribe all down below. So consider, take a look at our Patreon page. I'm Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.